there. This is Wake Angel 2001 bringing you another custom commission. This one is for fellow YouTuber Fox Dumb Series Maker. It's his fan character, Skulls Deathian, uh, who kind of looks a little bit familiar. I could have sworn I'd seen a bad guy like this in an anime or Super Sentai show somewhere. The base figure would be a Silver the Hedgehog with Waves legs because pants. Um, which also look, work pretty good as armor boots if, you, if you're clever enough with your sculpting. Uh, but let's move on, starting with the head. I had to take off that um, forehead frond, which for this figure was particularly difficult because it was glued in real good. It's funny, the forehead frond was glued in real good that I couldn't get it out, and I accidentally pulled out the muzzle, which I'm never able to do, which is just funny to me. But I didn't take any pictures of the muzzle taken out so you don't get the joke. Um, I had to sculpt on new pieces like that charming skull mask and the extra spines on top of his head. And with a paint job, it actually looks pretty epic. Um, he really has this kind of sinister skull clown face going on. It's really creepy and good looking. Moving on to the legs. Uh, remember what I said about creative sculpting turning waist pants into impressive knee-high boots? Well, just cutting a little bit of the flare off on the back of the heel and then sculpting on a knee spike, and you accomplish this that. With a paint job, you get that nice red, white, blue, and black color scheme, and uh, it looks pretty good. So moving on to the arms, it's pretty much the same deal. Sculpt on a couple of shoulder pads and some elbow spikes, and you're golden. The torso is a pretty simple job. I cut off a little bit of uh, Silver's chest fur so it wouldn't look so shaggy, and sculpted on that V thing. Then I just had to paint the V red and the armor black and white. Um, the lower body was also pretty simple. I just had to make that spaded demon tail. Uh, this time it's made entirely out of epoxy sculpt. Um, I was afraid that this kind of tail would snap easily, but epoxy sculpt is some pretty strong material, so this thing shouldn't break unless it falls from a great height or you actively try to snap it. Um, so, you know, as long as you don't get this thing to a little kid, you should be okay. Uh, the hands. Aside from those things on the back of the palms, he also has clawed fingers, which is always kind of hard to sculpt because you always have to sculpt one finger without messing up the next finger, and it can be kind of a pain. But, you know, I can pull it off because I've had a lot of practice at this. So, that's all the components. Let's put them together and see what Skull's Deathlock looks like. Deathian. I mean Skull's Deathian, not Deathlock. Um... But yeah, he looks really cool. I reiterate that he kind of reminds me of something I saw in a Super Sentai or an anime. I think something like Cyborg 009 or maybe maybe a Kamen Rider bad guy. I'm not really sure. But it is a pretty cool design. The red and the black and the white. It's all very stark and it looks cool. It has like a, a, a skeleton coming out of the void look going on. Um... And of course, he's still poseable. After all, he's silver and wave, so he has all the swivels intact. And, uh, yeah, he looks good. Alright, this has been Wake Angel 2001. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this figure. Uh, I'm trying to work on another figure, but, you know, ours. Alright, so I'm signing off.